What's the name? Uh, in wetlands, yes. I, I you. <laughs> wetlands are really good places to make greenhouse gases. Uh, there's a lot of methane production, uh, so maybe maybe you could capture some of the methane coming out of it. I don't know. <laughs> I've got a question about you talk about the mass in, mass out. You didn't talk about the the reaction inside of the wetland the reactor. Maybe yes. The next topic. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about on Thursday. And that's a really great point. Yes, absolutely. That that's uh, and that's what I was hoping to get to. So, what kind of reactions go on in a wetland? This is a serious question. Oh, uh, so, so there's <laughs> oh, no. actually there's tons, uh, and, and you know this is uh, people spend their entire careers on this, right? Wetland biogeochemistry. Uh, but the the one that, that that we really think about a lot as engineers is denitrification, because um, mm -hmm. redox. Um, the redox reactions that occur, uh, the, the microbes, they uh, thermodynamically, they want to use oxygen first. Uh, and once oxygen's been depleted, the microbes that utilize nitrate to breathe, so we use oxygen to respire. Uh, some, some microbes use nitrate, and so they use nitrate next. Um, the, the, another community uses nitrate, and they'll, they'll start to do that once the oxygen is depleted, um, and then you can kind of move down the list. Uh, and that's how methane's produced, is the, the conditions are so reducing that you end up producing methane through methogenesis. Great. Well, thank you. All right. Oh, yeah, and uh, I'm allergic to chocolate. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so, which is why I got y'all chocolate, so I couldn't eat it. So y'all, <laughs> I guess that there's a probably a grad student range you can take that to. So what happens if you eat chocolate? I, it's really funny, but probably not appropriate. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I,